All right. I am here with the art of Matt Flynn. What's going on? Uh, it's going. It's going. How are you feeling, buddy? I'm I'm feeling good, man. Feeling good, having having a lot of fun. Each other for like three years. Yeah. And I've never done an interview with you. Well, yeah, guy, we we've talked before. Syracuse Comic Con, we talked. Yeah, but that wasn't an interview. That oh, was talking. fair enough. I was. You were just on a blog, man. Oh, it was a blog. Okay. Okay. All right. How did it all start, man? When did you start drawing? When did I start drawing? I started drawing when I was about two years old. Really? Yeah, uh, my mom came home, gave me like uh, some paper and a pencil, and I just, I've never stopped. Like, it just kept going and kept going and kept going. And uh, as far as like professionally, like, you know, doing conventions and stuff, probably about in the last 10 years, on again, off again, but uh, the last two years, Retro Game Com 3, when I first met you, actually, um, was my first uh, jump into the realm of conventions. Um, now, you told me something the second time we met that made me very happy, and it kind of helped your career in a kind of a sort of way. Okay. Now, do you remember what you said? That you were the first person to ever come up to me as at a, at a con to commission me? Yeah. Yeah. That, that is true. That is... Uh, I, I don't know why I find it hard to believe, but it, it, I'll take it. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I, I didn't know, you know, Retro Game Con 1, my first con, I did not know what to expect, really. I, I knew what to expect. I set up a table and could potentially sell my artwork. I did not realize that my first show, someone's going to come up to me and uh, commission me to do something. So it was cool. It was, it was awesome. Do you remember what I asked you to draw? Uh, you you actually had a hard time choosing. I, I read a beach dealer's choice. You asked me to draw the Joker. I still have that notebook somewhere in my house. <laughs> it, because of that, I learned how to draw the Joker very well. So I can draw the Joker quick. I can draw the Joker fast. Um, actually, uh, this year I did my first panel. Yeah. And it was, uh, it was at a con called Twin Tears Comic Con. And uh, I did uh, I did an eight minute Joker, and it was probably one of the best Jokers I've ever drawn. That's awesome. So, uh, so I guess my question is, um, what do you say when people want to say? Do you think drawing is a skill or a talent? Um, it, it's a little bit of both. Uh, I, I'd say the the biggest part of it is patience. Like people come up to me all the time, and they're just like. Oh, I wish I wish I could do that. And my answer to them is, you can. Like anyone can do this. It's whether or not you're going to have the patience and the time to sacrifice to learn how to do it. Um, it I mean, it, it is it is a learned thing. Like you, you really have to develop your skill um, and have the patience to do so. You're not going to sit down and start drawing and you know do what I do overnight you're going to have to take like I, I put years into this and I mean I'm always getting better too like or growing I should say not necessarily getting better I'm always growing as an artist yeah. um, and you always can it doesn't matter where you get to uh, the moment you get comfortable with what you're doing is I think the moment you start failing as an artist because you always should try to grow try to make the next thing you draw better than the last thing you drew so What's worse, hands or feet? Feet. Really? I yeah, I I struggle with feet sometimes. If it's not a weird, if it's not like cartoony like this, I struggle with feet. It's um, if you notice a lot of my artwork, I I try to avoid feet if I can. So it's definitely something I need to work on. Uh, and I have I I've done definitely been better at feet over the last year or so. Um, I've definitely been driven to be better than I was, uh, say, a year ago. Um, what's your highest artist achievement in your mind? Ooh, that's tough. Um, that is, ah, oh, that is tough. One the of sketch cover was amazing. Yeah, I mean, sketch cover is, is cool. One of my greatest honors actually would be related to this con okay. itself. Uh, back in April, the, the promoter 
approached me and asked me to do the VIP print. And I, I was honored. Like I was just like, you, yeah, yeah, I will do that. That no, hands down, I will do that. And uh, again, this has been the third year I've done this convention. It's my favorite convention that I do. I have the most fun at it. And I'm not putting down any other convention. This is just the most fun I have at a convention because it's a little bit of everything. You got a little bit of comics, you got a little bit of games, you got a little bit of artwork, um, and then big mass of different people and fans that come through the door, so. Nice, okay. Artist question. Yes. Do you hate when people say, ooh, draw me? Yeah, kind of. Um, I, I've, I've countered that. I've countered that before, and I'm like, all right, well, here's my commission pricing, and then they look at it and they're just like, oh, I have to pay you. Yes. Um, my actually, that's not that's not my biggest my biggest pet peeve though. What's your biggest pet peeve? Uh, tattoos. When people are like, oh, oh, I hate it. Oh, you can draw. You should draw me a tattoo. It's cool. I'm uh, I'm flattered. I I really am flattered. Um, and I'll be like, all right, so what are you looking for? And they're like, well, I want like a feather with a whole bunch of feathers coming out or I'd like a cool tribal design. And I'm like, go to a tattoo shop. That, I mean, there are artists that specify in that that is what they do. So I, rec- I, I definitely recommend it. Sometimes people are a little put off by it, but it's, just, it's not what I do. Like, I'm, I'm good with comic book characters, you know, characters, pop culture things, yeah. my own characters, comic book stuff, video game stuff. I'm not good with tattoos, especially something that, and, and I don't want it to turn out like garbage, too. I mean, could I draw it? Possibly. I don't want it to become garbage. I want you to get the best piece of artwork you possibly could, uh, especially if you're going to invest in it. So definitely go to a tattoo shop for that kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, but I mean, the biggest lesson out of that is to look at the artist, see the artist, see what they do. Now, if you came up to me and were just like, yo, I want, this is an example, I've, I've had this before. Yo, I'm looking for a tattoo. I'm thinking about the four horsemen. I'm like, what about like the four horsemen from Darksiders? And they're just like, yes. Um, that is that is a tattoo commission I am definitely interested in. So, What piece are you most proud of? Thus far. Thus far. Of the ones I've seen. You know, the Samus. Really? The, the one that's crashing halfway through? Yep. Yeah, um, the first Retro Game Con, I meant to bring my original Samus to that. And I just started with, uh, with using the Copic markers. So I didn't have very many and I liked it. But a year later, uh, last Retro Game Con, I wanted to bring a new version of that. And I, I brought it and today is probably been my most proud piece. So. Nice. Okay. My, my, my question is, and this is, a little, this is a bit of a personal question. Did your art get your wife? Actually, no. Really? <laughs> um, she kind of found out I was an artist a little bit after the fact, that when we first started dating. Um, more cockiness, uh, sitting on the hood of my car, kind of kind of sparked that, so. <laughs> Have you ever done a piece for her? Yes, so, fun story. Uh, the first year we met, um, I was uh, one of the featured artists in the, our hometown's bank. Uh, we had five of us uh, in the Hornell Area Arts Council. I'll give a sh- little shout out to them. Um, and I had an exhibit and she had sat and watched me work on some of the pieces, but she, one piece in particular, she watched me work on from start to finish. And while she hung out with me, after she drove from Syracuse down to my hometown to hang out with us, or hang out with me, and she watched me do this piece, thank you guys, um, from start to finish. And what I did was two days before Christmas, because it was uh, during the December month that we were featured, I pulled that piece from my gallery, wrapped it up, and surprised her with it. That's awesome. So, uh, and to date, we still have that piece hanging on our walls. That's so cool, that is so cool. Um, I guess my biggest question in wrapping this up, what's the favorite piece you've done for me? Because you've done three. All right. So my favorite piece, I mean, 
I was proud of the Joker being that was my first commission. You've done more for me. Yeah, I've, I've, I've done yeah. quite a bit. Um, my favorite piece, and this is why I kind of want a little, a little ham on it, is the Harleen Quinzel piece. Really? I enjoyed that. Like, I don't know, for something about the way that uh, flowed, yeah. it was just, it was so much fun. Harley's one of my favorite characters to draw. You can do anything with her, and it's still Harley. So, you had me draw that, and I'm like, you know what, I'm going to have fun. I'm going to add some color to this, you know. Nick Nick's one of my favorite guys. He's one of my biggest fans, so... He's getting like a little bit, a little bit of everything in this. So, so, in wrapping the interview up, where can people find you? Where can they commission you? How much commissions? Please plug yourself. All right. So you can find me definitely anywhere online. I prefer to be emailed at theartofmattflint at gmail.com. Instagram is my favorite social media platform. You can find me on there at theartofmattflint. Twitter. I'll start be. I'll start using Twitter more over the winter. As much as, yeah. As much as it's confusing, it's just a big job and mess of things. At Art of Matt Flint, and uh, you can find me at Facebook.com/slash The Art of Matt Flint. Okay. Um, again, what are prices like? Um, commissions. Just, just people are lazy. Well, we'll just get a good shot of this right here. This is what commissions are. Uh, big commissions are currently closed right now. Yeah. Uh, I will be opening them back up, so these might change a little bit in retrospect uh, after the holidays are over. Um, I will be having. Uh, I will be opening them back up and doing a lot more work. Uh, if you follow me on those platforms, you'll see some new artwork heading to you over the winter. It's going to be a lot of fun, a lot of cool new stuff, a lot more detail. And a lot more digital colors. Matt, it's always good talking to you, buddy. Always, man. On camera. <laughs> <laughs> it's official. Thank you, man.